slightly longer than usual loading. Sorry about that. Actually, remember to put out messages this time saying I'm streaming. The town is being overrun by colored blocks. Everybody's in a panic! Quick! Call Mr. Driller! There he is! With his pudgy frame. Go, Driller! Go! Jump down that hole! Flap your flabby arms! The blocks are coming from deep underground! This guy's really amused. And now they're all plaid. Drill as fast as you can! <gasps> Who's that? He's shiny and bald, apparently. Ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Driller! This place is Mr. Driller. Uh, tonight is not cookie night. It is not the fortune cookie. It is apparently breakdancing night. Uh, it is actually going to be mystery game night. We have not done a proper stream in months. It's been a while. So... Uh, as a result of that, I've gone to four or five different cons, or at least different, like, cities, and have built up a pile of about 90 mystery games that this is normally just, like, what's on the mystery game pile in a normal fortune cookie. So, I want some floor space back. <laughs> so, we're just going to play mystery games tonight, which means you don't know what to expect. Uh, these could be terrible games. I'm sure some of them, many of them probably are. A bunch of them were given to me by you guys, I should also point out. They're, uh, some of these are going to be an experience. <laughs> One in particular, looking at right now. It's going to be an experience. But that's what's on the docket for tonight. We're going to do, uh, I'll follow, like, fortune cookie rules, like, every half hour we switch up the game. But, uh, it won't, we won't put up to a vote, at least right away. We might eventually do a vote for what system we play on, because... Oh my god, what systems do we have here? We've got NES, Genesis, Super Nintendo, a shit ton of PS1 games, N64, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, uh, what else we got here? PS2, Wii, Xbox, and 360. We've got a lot. There's a lot of options. So, well, it's gonna be a night. That's where I'm gonna put it. All right, so I picked Mr. Driller because A, I picked it up on one of the trips. This was actually a mystery game. And B, I really love Mr. Driller. It's like my favorite action puzzle game. Uh, anytime I go to PAX, they have a Mr. Driller arcade machine there and I always make sure to play it. It's like, I love this game to death. So we'll get into it, but before we do that, let's drop some eggs. Uh, 48 viewers resubbed while I was away. Nimo, uh, Nimono Mioa. Thank you for subbing. Here's some break dances for you. Kion 275 or 2570. I don't know how I keep pushing that every time, Kion. I'm sorry. Eight months in a row. Cardinal Joker. Cardian Joker? Really? I thought it was Cardinal. Cardian Joker, 18 months. I'm going to butcher everyone's name tonight, apparently. Ryako Car, 22 months in a row. The Toxic Avenger, triple six, five months in a row. Hannah, Cook Me, 25, five months in a row. And the Majestic Whale, seven months in a row. Alexor, four months in a row. Sadness Factory, 10 months in a row. Black with Evil, four months in a row. Fox Gamer, 01, 17 months in a row. The Awesome Matt, four months in a row. Calvin and Hobbs, 10, 10, nine months in a row. Came in, didn't I say your name a second ago? That was Keon, because you both end in very similar numbers. Wow, okay. So, Keon was 2570, and K-Man is 2495. 20 months in a row. Soul Man Kirby, 9 months in a row. And D. Lopez, 1432. Thank you all for subbing! Along with Crusader9898, who just subbed. Holy shit, that's a lot of eggs. I love you all. Here's one big old egg for you guys. You will give me an egg! One big old, uh, possibly quiet egg. Let's a little bit louder. You will give me an egg! There we go. All right, let's do it. Let's play some Mr. Driller. Renegade Llama, 13 months in a row, and... Anana Pan 1, thank you. Along with Leonis 2, 15 months. Thank you all for subbing. Here's your egg. You will give me an egg. Mista All right, so we're... So, I don't know how many people have actually seen or played Mr. Driller before. I mean, the demo pretty much gives away how it works. So you pick how far you want to dig down. Uh... Beginner mode is 2,500. Experts fit 5,000. 
Don't be surprised if I don't even reach 2,500, because this game can actually be really challenging. So the idea is you've got three lives. You have to dig down to the bottom. Every every dig, I think, is 10 feet? Every block is 5 feet. Okay. So the idea is you have to try to get down to the bottom and basically escape and figure out what's causing like all these blocks to appear. Along the way, you can pick up air capsules, and they add 20% air to your meter. The idea is there are three ways for you to die. One is to be horribly crushed, you know, as you want. Uh, that's not gonna work. I can look at that. Oh, I can get it, sweet. Okay, uh, one is to be horribly crushed, the other is to run out of air. And did I, if I said there were three ways to die, I'm wrong, because there's really only two. So you have to make sure you keep getting air capsules, and you have to keep making sure you're dodging all these falling blocks. You get a higher score if you keep collecting more air capsules, even when you don't need it, which is why I'm getting them. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Can I get this one, or this kill me? I'm good. The idea is also the farther you dig down, the faster your air depletion goes. Uh, also, the blocks, in case you haven't noticed, they will actually stick together if they meet a matching color. But if there are four or more of that color, they will disappear and uh, cause a chain reaction, so you have to be careful. So in case here, I make those four line up, they're gone, and I can grab the air capsule. I love the hell out of Mr. Driller, so I, I play this a ton. Uh, Mr. Driller Drilling Spirits, the DS one. Uh, back when I actually used to play on, uh, was it Challenge, I think was the site's name? I held a bunch of the speedrun records, actually, for the time trial in this game, because I loved it so much. But time trial is a completely different beast compared to the standard Mr. Driller play. So you have to be very careful! To be fair, I should have died like a million times before that. So that's one of the two ways you can die. Obviously, the air one I'm trying to not make happen. But eventually, I'm just going to have to get to a point where I just start ignoring the capsules and just start flooring it. Because the longer you take, eventually, it just it's not worth the time invested to go up and get the air capsules. Case in point here. If I can't break these chocolate blocks, because if I do, I lose 20% of my air. So it's just not worth the time investment at all there. Also, then that happens too. I should have stayed in place. Playing sloppy. Alright, I'm out of live, so I think my only option right now is going to start flooring it, because I don't even remember what score you need to get a 1-up in this game. Also, zigzagging usually helps too, because normally in the crossovers, nothing will get caught, or you won't get caught by anything by surprise. The early stages are usually linked up, that you can do that. Yeah, see, I told you, did not, I got very, very, not very far at all, rather. Still ranked six somehow. Do we even have a memory card spot for this? Alright, let's give another shot. So we'll focus a little less on getting the air capsules this time, because it, like I said, it slows you down. For points, it's definitely worth it, and I think it will eventually earn you a 1-up. But then you start making riskier moves as a result. Case in point! Unless it's, like, super easy to get, because usually the, a lot of these chain together easily. So I'll be safe. No, I wasn't safe. So, the capsules will hold up blocks, but if you pick up the capsule immediately, it will keep falling straight down. So that was just me being an idiot. Just me being a scrub, Mr. Driller Player. What is happening tonight? Holy shit. There's a stream curse going on here now. Like how I said, oh, my strategy will be not to pick up the capsules. Not only have I not missed a capsule, I've also died twice faster than any other point. Oh, there's the first capsule I'm missing. Going good so far! <laughs> Fuck it. Let's see how far we can get on one life. It's bizarrely trippy music. Okay, for Okay, for air. Is I gonna make four or is I gonna make three? Eh, it's probably worth it. 
Whoa, no! Oh, thank goodness. Over here. Let's at least get past where we got last time, and then I'll, I'll be more okay with dying horribly. No, that's not going to connect, is it? Oh, it is. Nice. I really just want to get to... There's a specific pattern that they eventually they follow. Because they go through, like, preset designs for each stage, and then eventually you'll get to the two-tone stage, which is both really fun and kind of a nightmare to play through, because you can find yourself getting killed really easily there. I could probably use this. If you're on the edge when a, a, a block drops down, you may get a lucky dodge and still, like, survive. But you have to be careful. That's not going to fall down. No, nope, I can't get that one either. You can only move up one block in height. No, nope, I'm just going to have to keep going. I don't like this. All right, two-tone stage. Pretty much just ride it down to the bottom. You also have to be your most careful here because eventually you'll find you're just everything disappearing. The only thing that prevents the block, the, that is pretty much just the, the X blocks. Move. I know that you actually, if you can somehow manage to get through the entire, like, game as well with getting every single air capsule, you get a huge point bonus. So since this was originally an arcade game, it kind of makes sense that that would be in there. I am alive. Wow. And I got the, I got more air. But I'm not going to be able to get that one. Yes, I am. Kind of miss the other color, though. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's nice when you don't actually have to do anything and you can still keep making progress. So usually if you're jumping around, try to make sure that the blocks fall onto a similar color. Or like that if you're like a block that's above you that's going to fall down, it will attach to a similar color so you don't have to worry. Make like a last second panic move. Usually it'll be safe then. So like, like here, that chocolate block's not going to get me because it's going to hit the other ones. Uh, is it worth it? It is probably not worth it. Which is why I'm doing it anyways. I'm also starting to run out of air, so I gotta be careful here. Not worth it. This one's gonna be worth it, though. I'm gonna need it. Notice how the, uh, the capsule's starting to run out faster, so I'm gonna start taking faster paths down, too. I gotta start finding easier ones to pick up at this point. This is one of the easier ones to get! No, it's not! Well, we passed the beginner mode, at least. Alright, let's see any eggs I missed. Oh, apparently a lot. Renegade Llama, 13 months in a row! Anon, Anani Pan 1, Leonis 2. I actually got you guys. Uh, Sephiroth 12 of 4, 21 months. Zamilo, 6 months in a row. Dark Dream 7, four months in a row. Strong Bobby 13 just up. Ryu Saber, 21 months in a row. Super Saints 166 just up. Trojan Horse 711, four months. I always butcher this one, so I apologize. Q. Q. Sai Shen. Yeah. Q. Sai Sh. Uh, Sh. Sonata. Man. Tongue twister. Seven months in a row. Drax 6106, nine months in a row. Hero Trev ZX, 21 months in a row. Chris Gold! Trey, proof gold here, 13 months in a row. Nitro Zelda, nine months in a row. Super Capture Device, six months. 
Holy cow, I missed a lot, guys. I'm sorry. Sir Bigglesworth the third, four months in a row. Trevor Blade, five months in a row. Thirteenth, Stormy, five months in a row. Chris Milloway, five months in a row. Geek with a Jufro, 15 months in a row. Crazy Sunshine, 22 months in a row. Apoc 666, 21 months in a row. Holy shit. Thank you all for subbing. Here's your egg. You will give me an egg. I should point out, oh, Mr. Driller's in love. Oh, he's harding me. Nice drilling. Conserve air as you get deeper. There we go, first score. Uh, I should point out, even though like, I listed off all those subs, you guys don't have to sub if you don't want to. Like, I do not push that. I know some guy was saying they wish they could sub. Uh, watching and following is really kind of all that matters in the long run, but anyone who's actually willing to sub, I really appreciate it. So, guys, thank you so much for doing that. Uh, why do I think of Dig Dug? Here's the thing. Uh, a, is made by Namco. B, Mr. Driller is apparently Dig Dug's son. That's actually a thing that they made canon. Because for some reason, like... Namco has this weird thing where, like, a lot of their old games and even their new games connect together. So I think, like, the Ace Combat series is canonically connected and in the same world as, like, as Dig Dug, for example. It's it's so weird. Alright, so this is time trial mode, which is fairly straightforward. Just get through the stages as fast as you can. So you gotta find all these little clocks to have more time, find any shortcuts you can get. Digging through the uh, blocks will unfortunately take away time. I think it takes away two seconds. And there's a target time they want you to hit on each stage. So I think there's ten of these? Yeah, no, there's ten normal ones, and then they do reverse, where they flip the mirror, or they flip the stage. They're all really fun, to be honest. Um, unfortunately, I... The only way I know to get this game easily is it's on the PlayStation Network. So if you have a Vita, God bless you. Uh, if you have a PlayStation 3 or 4, I don't know if it's on the 4, but I know it's on the 3. You can get this. I think it's only like 3 bucks. It's It was one of the cheaper ones. It's really fun. Like I said, it's my one of my favorite puzzle action games. Highly, highly recommend it. And if it looks fun here, then it, it is real fun. If it looks interesting to you now, you will probably enjoy it. PS4 has no emulation. My bad. I thought that it was already over there by now. I guess not. Because it show how much I use my PS4 at the moment. Mick Johnson, 88, 22 months in a row. MK, PXPRT, 24, just subbed in. Mark? Mark T. Jan, just subbed. Thank you all for subbing, guys. Here's your egg. You will give me an egg. What do I think of the Resident Evil 2 remake? I am not shocked. I'll be blunt. This is how Capcom works. They always decide to remake their games. God bless them for doing it, though. Uh, I'll definitely play it when it comes out. I'm excited to see it. I really like Resident Evil 2. It was the first Resident Evil I ever beat. Oh, crud. Um, all right, the trick with this one was you had to dig around it to make everything disappear, walk over, get all the clocks, don't get crushed by that, and then repeat the same thing over and over. I remember this one being a specifically a pain in the ass because of that. One more shot. All right, I'll do one quick... After this, I'll do one quick uh, final run. I think we'll do Beginner's Row just to get it out of the way. Get, actually get to the end of a set. And then we'll go to the first mystery game of the night. Although this was technically the first mystery game. You know what I mean. All right, which block is it that gets me first? Or five? Whoa! <laughs> God damn it, I hate this fucking stage in particular. All that, and we got a 20 second timer on. That's it. Cool. Alright, let's do one quick beginner's run. So I think we got to, what, 3,500? I think we can do it.
Also, I don't know why, the music's really trippy in this specific version of the game. Especially, like, this weird, like, piano music that goes down to, like, a breakdown. Let's do the 2500 foot challenge. Difficulty, as far as I'm aware of, stays more or less the same. Although I feel a lot slower, so maybe that's... Oh, everything goes slower. That's what it is. So, like, even your, like, your movement speed, your fall distance, all that is slower. And you know what? Since it's a beginner, we don't need to worry about getting all the capsules. We'll just gun it. Uh oh. I've said it before and I'll say it again this game is a guilty pleasure of mine. So if you ever end up at uh, PAX Prime in particular, I know they've got a machine there for it, so I say try it out if you want to do it. Or just pick up the game. I got. For one castle, I skipped like four. Fuck it. Another thing is, I don't know what determines this, because I've never actually bothered looking into it, but certain blocks will have items hidden behind them. They'll have, uh. They'll have, like, little hidden monsters. They'll have. I think I keep seeing, like, notes or cards. Those also just get you bonus points at the end of, the, of your run. So I think the idea is, like, the mole people are what what caused all this to happen. Something like that. I guess I should also mention, if you're really in, if you want to try a different version of Mr. Driller and you don't have a PlayStation, but you do have an Xbox, there is an Xbox version of Mr. Driller with online multiplayer. Because uh, the Mr. Driller multiplayer game is actually kind of good. But unfortunately, uh, they don't run the best, especially not the Xbox one. The GameCube one that was only in Japan apparently is considered like the best one, if memory serves me. Actually, come to think of it, I think Mr. Driller 2 is actually on the 3DS Virtual Console, isn't it? Sorry if someone's already said that in the chat. You missed my A because my resub didn't show up. Mine was for four months. Uh, Tobias. No, you're right. I don't have yours. All right. Let's drop a couple eggs here before I get back to this. Uh, H. Minnow, 16 months. Earthshade, 20 months. Mark Hay, 45 just subbed. Wave Runner, 56, 7 months. Uh, Genji, Black Dragon, 5 months. Recoden, 4 months. Wolf Pickle just subbed. And Tobias Hawk, 4 months. Thank you all for subbing. Here's your egg. You will give me an egg. The blocks you're drilling are the mole's food. Apparently, their food supplied overstuffed into the surface. Is that really the story? Wow! I totally didn't know that. That's awesome! That would explain why all the moles are everywhere when you just dig through. I was too impressed about the story. I got crushed. That's actually pretty funny that that's the story of all things. liking this right now. May have to pause and actually get a tank. Yeah, we're gonna Woo! We're gonna need that. No. Oh, this isn't good. <laughs> By endgame, Mr. Driller, if you're getting if you're breaking even with your air pickups, you're doing alright. We haven't really got to a point where everything's sped up, like the consumption hasn't sped up too much, but I do have to start debating whether or not it's actually worth going for a tank. Oh! That was it! Never mind! <laughs> And that goes to show how well I was paying attention. Oh, there you go. That's Mr. Driller, in a nutshell. Look how happy he is. So happy he only got crushed once. All right, 
Let's get to mystery game time, huh? So here's the deal. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on here for a second. I don't think there's anything else to notice. Oh yeah, that one just lets you keep going like crazy far. Um, we've we've got a lot to choose from. I'll be honest, I'm not even sure which one I want to start with in particular. There are a lot of choices, and a bunch of these are from you guys in, in particular, so. Oh boy. Alright, before we do that, hey, let's let's kill this weird... I cannot get over that theme song for some reason. Let's go to intermission. Our, um, <laughs> bizarrely themed intermission wall today. Don't ask me why, but I was like, man... I wonder how many Skeletor gifts there are of the exact same pose, and apparently there are a lot. So, um, this intermission brought to you by Skeletor. Skeletor. Yeah, I'll get that, He-Man! <laughs> Let's drop some eggs here first. Faster Super Sonic, four months in a row. Red Cinder, 10 months in a row. Silver Moron, 15 months in a row. Jim... Jim the Houster, 2 months in a row. Zack110 just subbed. And Legacy of Alter Red, 2 months. Thank you all for subbing. Here's your egg. You will give me an egg. Do you have the games in con order or system order? They are not really in any order. I, I'm winging it, as always. I love... I love that they're all different backgrounds. Not a single one's the same background, except for maybe, like, the cave one and, like, the one where Skeletor gets scared. There were so many of the same pose! It's so good. Alright, so the question is, should I start silly, or should I start cool? Because we've got some legit good games here, and we've got some legit terrible ones. I kind of want to do that one now. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's start dumb. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Our first, well, second, technically, mystery game of the night when we come back from break. Uh, I don't want you to miss a thing because it's Revolution X. Music is the weapon featuring Aerosmith for the Super Nintendo. We are gonna save Aerosmith with the power of guns. We'll see you guys when you come back.
answer was of course no. Yellow. Yo, dude. Hello, Mr. John. How are um, you doing? Not bad. How about yourself, dude? Oh, uh, picking my life up slowly. Oh, God. What's going on? Are you just... Rather not say on stream. All right. Fair enough. Well, hopefully being on tonight's very dumb stream will help you. Yeah, I understand. Now I understand your pain when you say when you move, you have a lot of stuff to move. Now I know the feeling. Uh-oh, now you're in my boat. I have to move next month, too. Really? Yes. Um, for those who are wondering why there's been a bizarre lack of videos up until Castlevania's return a week or two ago, um, it's because I've been looking for a new place to live. And also I've been on, like, uh, the con circuit. So here is... <laughs> We're both in the same boat, buddy. <laughs> Yay! Yay, we'll moving boat! <laughs> we'll get moving, buddy! <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, but, um, like I said, it's just, eh. I hate it when a lot of things just stockpile you, and then all of a sudden it's just, blah. No, that's how things go. I, uh, I also had my consultation for getting my wisdom teeth removed today. And, and, how was that? Well,. I got to see my x-ray of how my te my wisdom teeth are. Holy cow, I can someone tell me if I'm legally allowed to show a picture of my x-rays? Because, wow, it just shows how bad your wisdom teeth can really get. But Wait, uh, are, you are you saying is it legal for you to show your x-rays? Yeah. If you have them in your possession, yes. Well, I took a picture of them. Yeah, you can. All right, I might show that later. Big, because my teeth, my wisdom teeth are basically growing in sideways. Oh, trust me, I've had that same situation before. Um, we we talked about this last stream, I do believe, or th it was like a few streams ago. You mentioned about your wisdom teeth, and yeah, I remember getting mine like out when I was 13 during summer because my parents didn't want me to miss any sort of schooling, nor did the fact they wanted me to go to school while I was, like, drugged up on some heavy medication. To me, it was just, eh, it was nice. I mean, cotton swabs, salt water are going to be your best friends for the next few months. Basically, I'm getting them removed at September 8th, I think it is, so, like, a week after PAX. So, uh, I'll be, I'll be fine for PAX and that, but, like, after PAX, there's, there might be a lull in videos because I'm going to spend a week fever-dreamed, like, losing blood, and then I have to pack and move? Well, I would, if, you can't skip packs this year, can you? 
Uh, we no, approve. Well, we've already we already got our hotel and we've we got the panel, so. Ah, oh, boo. Yeah, unfortunately. But funny thing is, I actually could have said no to the panel, so. We we what? had a, we had a last minute um, confusion, let's say, and I basically I was given I was given like final words like, hey, we can get you the panel if you want. Here's the time slots we have available, but you need to say yes within the next two hours, otherwise we can't do it. So it was like one of those weird like, oh, do I do I want to put myself through the panel or do I want to have a relaxing pax before I have to move and shit. In the end, I opted to run the panel because I know everyone likes to go to throne controllers. So, e um, yeah, I my passes are lost in the mail. What? So, Pax has this cool thing to where if you change places and you didn't change it before June thirtieth. They would mail it June thirtieth. Yep. So I moved literally in the middle of July. I tried to contact Pax. They said there's nothing they can do. So there goes 160 bucks down the drain. Jesus, dude. They can't do sh that. How the fuck can they not do anything? That's dumb. Well, I read up on their Q and A. I literally read up on their uh, q and I emailed their customer service. I told them, listen, I was literally moving at this time. I didn't know where I was going, and I have a new place. Is there any way you can afford them? They officially said that because they, because they mailed them out so early, they couldn't do anything about it. The best that could possibly, quote unquote, possibly have happened was the fact that when I cha when I sent went to the United States Postal Service to do a change of address, they essentially could catch the mail and return it to and try and forward it to the new one. But because that was so late into the game, they possibly have mail them to the new place i try to email them they said there's nothing they could do so fc's <laughs> this is why i got screwed over so you didn't you didn't have like a at mail forwarding or anything set up you just john, john literally this i don't really want to talk about at this point all right fair enough <laughs> who's in the call hello there my name is jex you probably have heard of me, but that's okay. If you don't, you'll probably soon know enough. I'm that crazy voice guy who can somehow intimidate Mario. Hee <laughs> hee! This is Proton John. We're going to be playing some very fun game. I've never heard of this Aerosmith game. Oh man, I you're in for a treat. Hang on. Hey, someone just sent me a voice clip. I gotta play it first. Oh, that's the old bingo one. You will give me an it, it's a little quiet, and it goes straight into the bingo one. You will give me an error. You will give me a meow. But it cuts off like the meow, and it just kind of jumps right into the other one. I like it, though. I like it a lot. So, Gex, the game you have joined us for is an experience, to say the least. Uh, let's jump over to it. How many of you guys have heard of the Aerosmith game Revolution X? I'm legit curious. I feel like I have, but something tells me I haven't, so I'm just going to play it safe. And when I say this is an Aerosmith game, I am 100% serious because each member of the band is in this game. What? Yep, see here's the logo, and there's the band, very, very artifacted into the game. All I see is a claim. You, you've got a little bit. It'll come up after Rage Software. <laughs> there must have been a lot of it. Yeah. There must have been a lot of angry people working on this game when your studio is called Rage Software. Oh dear God! It's yeah. actually the full band. Please. Don't. You, you have no choice. You have no voice. The New Order Nation has taken over, and everything you like is wrong. 
All video games, television magazines, and especially music have been declared illegal and are strictly forbidden. A corrupt neo-industrial governmental, <laughs> governmental militaristic oppression alliance, the New Order Nation, led by headmistress Helga, is seizing all citizens between the ages of 13 and 30. You are on your way to see Aerosmith. They're playing at Club X, LA's hottest night spot. At the same time, the New Order Nation's evil plan is being launched and you are stuck in the middle. As one of the last surviving free youth, you must battle New Order forces to get backstage at Club X to meet Aerosmith, where together you will begin the revolution. Remember, music is the weapon. They're actually playing this shit. Please tell me one of the songs is that famous Aerosmith song from Armageddon. Um, I don't think that song was out when this game came out. When did the movie come out? Because they made it for the movie. They made it for the movie, right? Um, give me a minute. Oh, All right. Magic. <laughs> what difficulty should we play? We've got outrageous, impossible, super cool. Uh, super cool. I feel like super cool is easy, outrageous is normal, and impossible is hard. I think we're going to keep it on outrageous just because I, I have a feeling this game has limited credits. Armageddon came out in 1998. Yeah, no, this game came out in like 93. Ah, damn. Alright, let's do this. Although before we do this, hang on. Ooh, I missed a bunch. My bad guys. Superman 23X, four months in a row. Katniss Bot just subbed. Matt Tesca, 18 months in a row. Akvar, 14 months in a row. Brooke Trout, 96, two months in a row. Vic Timmy, 18 months in a row. Decoy Troy, nine months. Shell G, five months. And Wolf Samurai, 19 months. Thank you all for subbing, guys. Here's your egg. You will give me an egg. Yeah, if you've, uh, who said that in the chat? Um, uh, Phil, yeah, Phil Ken Castro has it right. If you ever played the Terminator 2 arcade game, that is basically what this is. Did they essentially just rip the engine off and just recoded it with the skin? Or is there actually like new gameplay within it? Because I've played that. Just you'll you'll understand when you start seeing it played. Alright, what's what's what buttons? So we've got a gun and we've got a CD launcher. I don't remember which button okay, shoulders C D launcher. The CDs are basically bombs. And most things can be shot in the stage. Also, we've got some sweet guitar music in the background. I believe most, if not all, the soundtrack is Aerosmith music. Like, but small loops of the, like, 15 second loops because we're playing on a Super Nintendo. This game's also on the Sega Saturn. I also have that version, and I, and I think someone said that is the, like, go-to version if you, unless you have the actual machine. Look at these sweet pictures of Steve Tyler that you can barely make out. You know, I wish I could join guys, but I live somewhere else. John lives in Canada. What's up? Mm. Oh, pe someone was like, Quick Jacks, push start, push start. <laughs> push start on your keyboard. All right, guys, we just got some more CDs. We got three CDs. So if this came out in 1993, what was Aerosmith's popular song then? All of them? Dude looks like a lady? That's been around when Miss Doubtfire came out. Oh, that's true. Actually, now that I think about it, it's been a year since Robin Williams passed away. Yeah, that was like the other day, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is so shitty. I, I, don't worry, I knew this was going to be shitty. This is because it's the Super Nintendo port of, a, like, an arcade game. And I have actually played the the proper arcade game, too. It's It's very interesting. Let's go into Club X. The New World yeah, Order has put up a tape yeah. over the sign, apparently. You know what? Um, this Since this somebody talked about the Terminator, kind of like being the Terminator machine, I have a few gripes with the, ter the new Terminator movie. I have not seen it yet. Guys, we got to save the strippers. Hang on. Never mind, then I won't talk about it then. <laughs> Yeah, like I, I have, this, I haven't seen any movies lately. Like, there's a bunch of movies in theaters I want to see. I haven't seen Ant Man yet. I didn't see Genesis. Even Very good. Everyone told me it was not good. Which doesn't surprise Wait, me at which all. movie? G Terminator Genesis. Um. I didn't even realize I was getting hit. Wow. All right. Um. Terminator Genesis, without really spoiling anything. The the writing. More or less. 
will make you scratch your head a lot. Um, well, based Ant-Man, on what, the stuff I saw from the trailers, I, I'm not surprised by that. Uh, well, I will say, like... Yeah, I, I, I can't really talk about it unless I'm spoiling the crap out of it, but and I'd rather not do that because if you want to go see it, then that wouldn't be fun. Um, but I will say, it, you will kind of have you'll you'll have to watch it to kind of understand for yourself to see about hey, the. Hang on, dude. We got we're at the Aerosmith concert. They've just got music playing in the background. We gotta save them. This is it, guys. We're at the boss already. The boss is just a bunch of people. As would be the case at any Aerosmith concert. We're gonna get past all the bouncers. They drove a truck in! It's the same truck we were shooting before. Sure, why not? What's next? The Terminator actually pops out? Dude, that would be funny as hell. That would be pretty amazing. And they all of a sudden they just. And the truck just drives walk. away! It's like, oh, I'm done. Nope, more people! Nope. We've, they found some more guys in the ceiling. They dropped down. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, I know you're going to show up any second now. Everyone blew up. Guys, we did it! We're at a sweet Aerosmith concert! Yeah! Yeah, look at them go! Look at them clearly singing and playing! All two frames of animation! Throw up the horns! Oh, and they fell I... through a platform, and there, there's Helga, and she ninjaed away, and now we're climbing up a ladder, because that's what happened when, when during an Aerosmith concert. Pixel, pixel rock out. I wish they could do like the Stephen Colbert's like rock out. I can't do that right. I. Uh... I can't even attempt that. Basically, just kills your vocal cords to try that. I, it looks like their shirt, their like hat, say HDMI. <laughs> so that's they, where HDMI they knew. came. From. They knew. I knew it. Uh, who just this? The googled gamer. The goggled gamer. The, the goggled gamer. I'm sorry, I read that fast. It looks like googled. I uh, hang on. I'll, I'll drop an egg in a second. Something important's about to happen. Yeah, you're shooting in their dressing room. I would be offended right now. If you're watching this, then they've taken over. Shh. It's up to you now. Find our car and stop the new order. Yeah! Remember, <laughs> music <laughs> is a weapon. Steve <laughs> Tyler, a video of Steve Tyler just threw us a set of car keys. That better be to his freaking sweet ride. And now the whole building blows up with us inside of it. The club is history. Now it's time to stop the new order. I am legit curious. What is this game again? And this is Revolution X. Revolution X Aerosmith. I am curious. Oh man, we saved we saved a bunch of bikini ladies. We blew up a bunch of stuff. We won some Mammy awards. We didn't earn any Aerosmith wings though. We're not we're not good enough revolutioners. And now it's the stage select, which if I remember correctly. Oh no, not yet. Shit. We we stole the cop's chopper to find Steve Tyler's car. Sure. I right. mean, you have a helicopter that could probably do better than a car, but okay. You know. Linky92, 18 months in a row. Imperial Knight, 7 months in a row. Flargra, 4 months in a row. Zypher... I can never say this one. Uh, Zypher Thamaturge. Butchered that one, sorry. 5 months in a row. Kirby Volt, 21 months in a row. And The Goggled Gamer, 13 months in a row. Thank you all for 7. Here's your egg. You will give me an egg! Alright, guys. We got a chopper. Let's do it. Hmm. Oh man, we got a laser disc! <laughs> I forgot how 90s this game really was if we got a laser disc. Oh my god, I haven't seen one of those in like years. I think I'm watching Classic Game Room now. <laughs> uh, I, I, guess, I guess let's shoot out every window. Aw, oh, what? What's up? 
Oh, I was looking for the reviews, like, to see about it. it this is low. Oh, no, this game's not good. Uh oh. Don't, don't get me wrong. No, this game's not good. It's it's just a cheesy-ass arcade game. Aw. And that's kind of the only reason you play this game, because it's such a dumb concept. That's kind of amazing. Man, 9-inch ales are real dicks. They just also changed their name to Non instead of Nin. 9-1 nails. Wait, <laughs> why did that? you think it was good? Because it looks stupid fun good. <laughs> I mean, that's a legit question. Why did you think this was good? I don't know, because arcades, sometimes an arcade may look bad, but some others may see it good. Mm. Alright, I've got a legit question. How am, Who is flying this chopper right now? Because I'm clearly firing the gun. Um, evil spooky ghost. Good thing those evil spooky... What are these guys doing? They look like they're like... They're twerking at me. Oh good, another game that somehow pre... Dated twerking. They knew. They knew. I think I've got my laser <laughs> I'm flying discs. the plane. You are. That's why you never press start. Exactly. Makes sense to me. Oh, more laser discs. You know these guys are doing an amazing job for not being good henchmen. I think they were shooting me. It looked like I took damage. To be honest, though, it looks that twerking does look like shooting, but that is a crappy way of shooting. They shoot with their butt. That's disturbing. They shoot with their butt, not with their heart. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You get me okay over there? How do I respond to that? I, you know what? You don't really need to. Don't worry. There you go. We'll go with that. I love how there are guys hiding behind the guys I'm shooting. So it looks like they just like are cloning. Also, how the fuck have I not found this car yet? I'm clearly flying over the exact same areas. That car better not be parked on a goddamn roof. Where maybe the where that sign parked was. I will laugh my ass off if you have to shoot that park. Be good, yeah, my ass. Be no, good. No, I gotta I gotta shoot the chopper here first. Oh, where did you go? I think I saw Mr. Fluffy subscribed. And then... Flying Tengu subscribed. Wait, do we have Hawk Tengu and Flying Tengu? We have two Tengus? Uh... Oh my god, that number in the middle is how many continues I have. I have 25 continues. Uh... Wow. This arcade game is really generous, then. I'd say. No. Normal arcades would be like, you only got three. Wait! Wait! What? How did that work? Hmm. How did that work? I... Also, holy shit, no wonder they gave you 25 continues. This chopper's kicking my ass. This... The helicopter says, fuck all logic out the window. There is absolutely... <laughs> Pokedude 14 subscribed for nine months. <clears throat> Thanks for subbing. I'll drop some eggs here in a sec. I can't tell what I'm supposed to be shooting now. I guess the, this thing here, which is doing the gun amounts of damage to me. The guns. I've already, I've already shot the guns. Never mind. Now just go for the blade. The thing looks like he's shooting like splattered oranges. There we go. I had to shoot that weird thing on the bottom. Oh, the one Whoa! that looks like it. That is not how a chopper explodes. Whatever, I'll take it. Oh man, check out Aerosmith's sweet car. Is that a Countach? Aerosmith's car, cool. Wicked. That's some car. 
It looks like a DeLorean that... Oh man, those yeah. were skate troopers that I shot down that were twerking at me. State troopers? Skate oh, troopers. Oh, skate. As in roller skate. Uh. And you still didn't earn any wings. Danger! High voltage! Four months in a row. Whoa. Four months in a row. Uh, Will wear four months in a row. Cat Ninja 1992 just sub. Mr. Fluffy 67, seven months in a row. Flying Tengu, seven months in a row. Spirals. Look, you made it. Where you go from here is up to you. Spiral Senal, four months in a row. And Pokedude, 14, nine months. And Puppet Master, nine, 22 months. Thank you all for subbing. Here's your egg. You will give me an egg. All right. Uh-oh, it picked for us. <laughs> so next we find out how Jax drives. <laughs> Great. Guys, we got to go save Joe Perry. The In the Amazon. <laughs> Evergreen Chemical is hiding something. You've got to find out what. Guys, we're in the Amazon. To save Joe Perry of Aerosmith. This game really is stu looks stupid fun. Oh, it's it's incredibly dumb. It, if I think I I'd imagine you would probably want if you had access to it, the Saturn version. I'm sure the Saturn version's the closest to like arcade emulation. Because I highly doubt you want to spend the money to get the arcade machine. Although I've gone to cons that they've been at, like SGC has a Revolution X machine every year. Surprisingly, um, dependent on if a place is going out of business, sometimes they don't even sell the arcade machines. Because nah, one, one of my one of my one of one of my friends, he literally got a original Mario Bros. arcade because one of the pizza places just went out of business, and they put it out in the trash. I was like, snag it. So now he has a full function Mario Bros. arcade, and I'm like. Motherfucker. That's pretty nice. I like that. 